Hello, this is Walt Ford, retired Marine Colonel, editor of Leatherneck Magazine of the Marines. I want to welcome you to our April issue of Leatherneck Magazine of the Marines. This month we have a great mixture of personality pieces, Marine Corps history, and current operations. We start off the April issue with a lead story on the face of law enforcement in, uh, in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio for the last 40 years, Sheriff, si Sheriff Simon Lee. Sheriff Lee was a Marine Lieutenant in 1958 through 1962, and he runs his operation very much like that, and he's very favorably endorsed and loved by the people in Cincinnati. I think you'll enjoy that story. We follow that with a history article. This is the anniversary month of Operation Frequent Wind, the evacuation of Saigon. But the story this time and this month we cover a little bit differently. We talk more about the DAO compound, the Marines and the Defense Attaché Office compound, which was down by Tonsonut Airport where the evacuation occurred. So it's a different way of telling the same story on this anniversary of the Operation Frequent Wind, 1975, the evacuation of Saigon. We add to that a story on uh, Marines who were eyewitness to the assassination of President Lincoln. Back in April, we had a story on Marines escorting and accompanying President Lincoln to, the, to Gettysburg for the Gettysburg Address. Now this month, April, which was the anniversary of the death, the assassination of Lincoln, we have eyewitness to murder. Suzanne Poole Camp and retired Marine Colonel Dick Camp have written this article telling our readers about the Marines who were around and involved in the uh, efforts to capture and control and then hang those associated with the assassination of President Lincoln. We follow up uh, with this uh, April issue with May. I'll just give you a little bit of insight into what's going on there. It's an aviation focus. We have a story on the Marines using and the use of UAV, unmanned aerial vehicles. Uh, we've really, uh, the Marine Corps has really exploited that in the last few years. We have Marines uh, Harriers, flying Harriers in Afghanistan in support of the War on Terror and Operation Enduring Freedom. And then we uh, also have a good focus uh, on history with an article on Marines and Haiti and the dive bombing efforts. So we think you'll like that. I want to just touch on one more really interesting story that I think you'll find uh, of uh, merit. And that's a, a school, an alternative school in Naples, Florida called New Beginnings. These uh, students are coming from broken homes and they've actually failed in the education system. And Florida has in Collier County this uh, New Beginnings school which is supported by the Marine Corps League Detachment 063, the E.T. Brisson Detachment, they have a Young Marines Detachment there. And the instructors, the teachers have really brought on the Marines, and it's a great story about educating our, our youth and our future. We think you'll like that in the May issue. So thank you very much for your continuing support. Stay in touch. Email us, leatherneck at mca-marines.org. Give us a call. If you'd like to hear from our readers, want to know what you want us to, to cover in our future issues. Thanks very much. Semper Fidelis.